should practice Pilates. If you are any of the following, Pilates is definitely for you. If you are a personal trainer, a Zumba instructor, a yoga teacher, a physiotherapist, a strength and conditioning coach, or you are a physical educator, a dance teacher, a nutritionist, or any of the holistic health practitioners, or you are just somebody who wants to take care of his health and well-being, Pilates is definitely that is becoming so popular. It is a versatile form of an exercise. It helps meet all the health and sports fitness goals. It can be very easily and safely performed by anybody about the age of six years. It not only helps us meet the general fitness, strength and conditioning goals, but is also a great medical rehab. It is an absolute low cost investment. It can be practiced anytime, anywhere. It helps you improve your observation and training skills thereby giving you a great opportunity to increase your income by at least 30 to 40 percent. Sometimes one asks why can I not become a reformer trainer directly? Across the world you will be advised to follow this path. You first start with the mat. You master all the mat exercises. You then get onto the ball and you master the ball exercises. You then gradually get onto the reformer and then you start to learn the pilates on reformer. Once you've mastered the mat, ball and reformer, all of the three, then why just stop at the reformer? We then take you on to the Cadillac and the rest of the Pilates equipment. This is the order in which you start understanding Pilates and the fundamentals. Why is Pilates on mat important? Pilates on mat is the very foundation of Pilates teaching. No mat, no Pilates. Pilates on mat helps you learn the breathing techniques, which is extremely important, which is what sets it apart from the rest of the exercises the spinal alignment, use of pelvic floor muscles, understanding the Pilates core muscles, and also what is more important is the cueing. All these skills help you teach your clients better, whether you are in personal training, you are training your athletes, or you are a physiotherapist, or you are a dance teacher. That is why Pilates on mat is very important. How does Pilates help in fitness and sport? Whether it is fitness or sport, we all are working towards achieving a stronger core and Pilates gives it to you. The usage of your pelvic floor muscles and understanding of deep abdominal muscles is what helps you build a stronger core. The stronger your core, the more your stability. The more your stability, the higher your power, strength and speed. How can Pilates help me increase my income? Pilates can help you increase your income in many ways. Firstly, Pilates is best suited for us Indians. We all want lean bodies and muscle endurance. Pilates is best suited for all these fitness goals. Once, as a teacher, you have understood the deep core muscles of Pilates, you can then start to use it during your weight training sessions, during your yoga sessions. You can also use it as a rehab for your injured clients or your athletes or just alone as a standalone exercise. This gives you an opportunity to build up on more clientele and hence the expertise will help you increase more income. Is there any difference between yoga and Pilates? Yes, absolutely. Pilates is a form of an exercise which works on stabilizing the spine with the help of the core muscles, while yoga has a more holistic approach working on our mind, body and spirit. While the physical aspect of both the exercises may remain the same, the breath work is what sets Pilates apart. Hence, a lot of yoga teachers who attend the course are appalled at the major difference that they find when they understand how the simple breathing technique of Pilates sets it absolutely apart from yoga. That is why there is a major difference in yoga and Pilates. Pilates Mermaid. Start by sitting with your knees one on top of each other, the top leg going into the arch, the top foot coming into the arch of the bottom foot, holding on to one side. Bend and stay there. Extend your arm. Inhale. Exhale as you bend down to the opposite side. Come up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. You could also do this with a variation of coming into the 1990 position. The front knee being 90 degrees. In the arch of your foot, make sure that your bottom knee comes. The bent knee comes. The bent knee also stays at a 90 degree angle. Place your palm by the side of your hip. Extend your arm. Inhale. Softly bend your elbow to laterally flex your spine. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, all the while while you do.